The alternative title for this video is Political Correctness Gone Wrong, Gone Sexual, and Gone Wild, Social Experiment, I Nearly Died. So, uh, you know, you could say that if you want. So recently on Twitter, a young critic posted a picture of him and Amy Schumer and a caption about how she is basically sleeping around. Ha ha, it's a funny joke. But Amy Schumer turned out didn't actually like the joke and called him out for it. Then her 3.3 million Twitter followers, or most of them, or small of them, or who knows, bombarded the person because how sexist and misogynistic he is for making such a joke. And of course, he ended up apologising, and instead of actually addressing the bombardment, she just went, that's okay. And then everyone talked about how great she is because mwah mwah woman empowerment. The weird thing though is, is that despite the fact that this joke is about sex and how she's a slut, pretty much all of the comedy is about her being a slut. I know people are defending her saying how it's just a character, but then how can you be so surprised when someone makes a joke about you when you portray a character that the joke is based on? That is a tongue twister. And this is not something new, this is something that's been happening for quite some time about people calling out people and saying how wrong they are for making offensive jokes because the fact of the matter is political correctness is ruining comedy! Which is sort of hilarious because in fact for people like me the idea of comedy is to be as politically incorrect as possible because you can't have comedy without misery because you need misery to make fun of it. For example, me being hit by a taxi turned into that's the only way to get a taxi in my town. But the other thing about these political people is that how they say that making a joke about women is wrong, yet claim that dice is scum is okay because it's a joke. Because feminism, it's okay to call you a piece of shit because you're not part of our special group. When Ricky Gervais made a joke about Catherine Jenner at the Golden Globes, so many people called him a transphobe and a sexist and demanded an apology. Do you know what he did? He told him to fuck off because he knew that that joke didn't reflect him at all and therefore there was no right to apologise. But of course people say you are still a transphobe, a sexist and you're not like Sarah Silverman who is the greatest goddess of our women despite the fact that she lied about the get wave gap. Yes I get it, humor is subjective, not everyone's gonna like a rape joke and all that. But if you try and tell me that I'm a rapist or a rape apologist for liking a good rape joke then you clearly don't know who I am and you're clearly just judging me over comedy. But another thing is that a lot of people consider comedy to be a coping mechanism for people who've gone through trauma. If you take that away, then you're actually taking away the help that people need. I also want to know if Amy believes it's okay for her to make the sort of jokes she makes because she's a woman, but if a man makes them, then they're considered a sexist. I want to wonder that because that's sort of called hypocrisy and double standards. Really, political correctness doesn't really have a place in comedy because a lot of comedy is focused about being as politically incorrect as possible. But of course there's still going to be people who are going to say that people are sexist and horrible people for making certain jokes, yet praise women who are making the same jokes because female empowerment. Good God, my hair is a mess. Look at me, I look like an emo at some point. All I can say to these people is, dear God, stop raping comedy. Oh my God, I made a rape joke, I'm going to get killed. I think at some point we have to sign consent forms that we have to send off and get checked 20,000 times and if they don't like stuff they cross it out and they may replace stuff and then by the time we get it back it's a completely different joke but that we have to say it because that's the only kind of jokes that PC people actually like. We'll be making jokes for CBBs. But hey, that's just my ramble. 